This is another bit of ultrasound with Z. This time, what is this patient's post void residual? For this, you will need to measure distances. On the Sonocyte, this requires the use of three buttons the freeze button, the caliper button, and the select button. To start, place some gel on the probe in the center of the patient's pelvic area. Tilt it down into the pelvis until you find the black, urine-filled bladder. Rock it up and down until you find the largest dimensions. Push the freeze button, push the caliper button, and move one end of the measurement line to one side edge of the bladder and push the select button. Move the other end of the measurement line to the other edge of the bladder and push the select button again. Now push the caliper button and repeat this for the anterior, posterior, front back dimension. You will have two distances noted in the lower corner of the display. Write these down. Now push the freeze button again to unfreeze the image. Rotate the probe to the sagittal up-down plane and again tilt it down into the pelvis and rock it left and right until you find the maximum dimension. This time freeze the image and use the caliper and select buttons to measure the maximum sagittal distance. Write this down. Now multiply these three numbers by one half and you will have a good estimation of the postoid residual. If you are rocking the probe all over and all you see is a bunch of shadows and no obvious bladder, the bladder is empty.